I started with a basic walnut log like this and now I've been working on it some with a chainsaw cutting it out and then also with wood carving tools to make a Santa Claus that's going to stand about oh four and a half five feet tall this is my trusty bulldog tank the amazing bulldog he's with me all the time take a look at some of these basic carving tools and boy do I ever have to keep them sharpened constantly and that's a strap that I polish it off with right at the end as you can see I've got a lot of work that I have to do on this face now I'm working on this eyebrow right here and just trying to just get a little bit rounder a little bit smoother and also the side of his forehead I like to just come in with my chisel and just use my hands and really work it without using a mallet um, because there's a lot of just really fine detail and smoothing I want to do and a lot of times it's just you know working in a little bit rounding the edges cleaning it up you know but just taking your time with it because this is critical to get this looking really cool and uh, you know and getting in there really nice and smooth in these edges I just wanted you to kinda get a feeling on how I do this notice how I lock down my left hand locks down the tool right here it's not going anywhere it's not going flying into the piece itself and then my right hand is just driving it along just giving a little bit of push each time and I just make little bitty cuts here but what it does is it smooths out and cleans up the mustache I'm going to try to round out that nose a little bit more than what I've got right now. See what I've been working on the mustache? And you can see the beard is starting to look better. That white wood is very soft, so I've got to be really careful to remove the whole thing. I'm going to keep it, so I'm going to protect it with a sealant and paint. I'm trying to make the Santa Claus's nose have a little shape in it, so I'm drawing right around here right now. and. That'll be where the nostrils will be right there and there, of course. Gonna make this a little bit more of a bulby nose and it's just flat right now coming across and rounding out. So a little more character into the nose. It's more separated, it's more bulb looking around in this area here. Nostrils flaring out. Hey Tank, that's my pal. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting on, what, what you're seeing right now, you're seeing the ankles, and then you're also seeing the um, both of the feet right here of the Santa Claus. It's going to be on this base, and then it's going to go under the Santa Claus. Okay, so it's going to go under the Santa Claus. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a couple of dowels. One dowel here, and one dowel here. Yeah, this button right here will go on the jacket on Santa Claus. I had a piece of walnut that I had cut with the chainsaw and as I decided to take these tools and just kept on chopping away on it all the way around to make ankles even higher so I can have ankles and then they'll be uh, fixed to the boot bow for the shoe so what I did was I drew a Santa Claus uh, with the photograph image of Santa Claus that I've been wood carving and I put it you know very roughly just showing Santa Claus holding the uh, candle holder okay and now I put in a little bit more color here this will just help me out when I finally paint it four arms right here and glued them all together and then I used two vice grips to tighten it up so we have a nice tight fit on everything there you can see those over here this is the other part of the arm so this arm that I'm showing is going to be the right arm and that arm will be holding that lantern that I showed you a little while ago this is the left arm it'll just dangle straight down okay now I'm carving the right hand here on this Santa hat you can just get in a groove you can carve fast. That's a whole trick right now. It's just 
getting in a groove. You know, you just find an area, you start carving, and boom, stuff starts snapping off. The whole thing, just keep at it. Patience is the key in wood carving. Always is, always will be. I know I got a lot of rounding to do, so I'm not so concerned with how it looks right now. I'm just roughing it out. I suppose you could say, why don't you do it with a chainsaw? Well, I just don't want to be that reckless with it. Okay, now you can see how the hat looks. And I put the ball on it. And I've also sealed it with some glue that you see there, wood glue and also sawdust around the edge here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the left arm. Notice I just created the hole um, with a nice good size one inch uh, drill bit. And I'll take this hand and then I'll put another drill right there and I'll put a peg in. And there's how the peg looks. Okay, now you see the shoes on the base. Now, just start drilling. I put the arm onto the Santa Claus. Now you can see I doweled and glued the arms in place. Okay, now we've got the hat in place. I'm applying two coats of paint, just any paint I can find. This happens to be Valspar. This is where the legs are. Just starting to paint what I want to paint. I'm going to leave those shoes natural and also the base natural. Now I'm creating shoe strings. Now I just happened to find these really cool hooks, these metal hooks here. And I thought, why not just make them and, uh, and be able to ring it up just like a shoe string. How neat that is. Okay, now we've uh, painted the legs, and we're working on our guy here. Here is the finished Santa Claus. He's got a cross. There's his lantern that he's holding. 